What if I told you that tire inflation isn't as simple as matching the number on the sidewall? In fact, there's a whole science behind getting the right pressure in those tires. Let's talk about why cold inflation pressure matters and what technicians may not know about proper tire inflation. Temperature plays a bigger role than you might think for tire inflation. For every 10 degree Fahrenheit change in temperature, you'll see about a 2 PSI change for tire pressure. For example, a work truck tire reading 88 PSI at 0 degrees Fahrenheit will actually reach 100 PSI once the temperature warms up to 60 degrees. Here's where it gets interesting. Operating the tire itself generates heat, which increases inflation pressure even more. That's why technicians should never reduce a hot tire's pressure to match the recommended cold inflation level. Those tires that just came off the road, they'll typically show 10 to 20 PSI higher than normal from just regular operation. So what should technicians do in these situations? If you've got a hot tire showing less than the recommended cold inflation pressure, it's actually underinflated. In this case, inflated to the recommended pressure plus an additional 10 PSI. Once a tire cools down to match the atmospheric temperature, then you can set it to the correct pressure. And don't forget about altitude. Though the effects are minimal, pressure changes about 0.48 PSI for every 1,000 feet of elevation change. That means a work truck tire reading 100 PSI at sea level in California will show about 102 PSI at 5,000 feet elevation. Here's something else your technician should know. The maximum pressure stamped on the tire sidewall is just that, a maximum. A trailer hauling light cargo truck like potato chips might actually need less pressure than what's listed. The key is checking those load and inflation tables to match the actual weight being carried. The bottom line is that proper tire inflation isn't just about hitting a number. It's about understanding how temperature, altitude, and actual load affect tire pressure. Make sure your technicians are using calibrated gauges and following manufacturer guidelines. When done right, these practices will help ensure optimal tire performance and longevity, regardless of environmental changes. For more tire and service videos, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. I'm Christian Hinton, coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Tire Garage Studio at Babcock's Media. Thanks for watching.